Before checking any fluids, make sure your vehicle is parked on a level surface and has been standing for at least 15 minutes. For best results, check in the morning or after work when your vehicle has had several hours to cool and all fluids have gathered in their reservoirs. Checking your transmission fluid is a lot like checking your oil. All you need is a clean rag or paper towel. The transmission dipstick is usually yellow and located in the open area around the engine block. Remove the dipstick, wipe it off, and replace it. After a few seconds, remove it again. It will also have markers to tell you the level of your transmission fluid. Most transmission dipstick tubes are also where you add fluid if needed. Your brake fluid is another vital component to your vehicle's safety. It is also very easy to check. Most brake fluid reservoirs are such that you can see the level without removing the cap. If your brake fluid is low, remove the cap and fill it with a manufacturer approved product. Checking your power steering fluid is almost identical to checking your brake fluid on most models. Again, take a look at the levels and top up the reservoir if needed. Your coolant prevents your vehicle from overheating, which can cause irreparable damage. Like other reservoirs, most coolant reservoirs have markings on their exteriors. When adding coolant, be sure it has been diluted with water. You can also find pre-mixed coolant at your local automotive store. While most people wait until their washer fluid runs out before filling it, it doesn't hurt to take a look while you're under the hood. Some newer vehicles, like this one, utilize a dipstick when the washer fluid reservoir is in a hard to see location. Regardless, even simply opening the cap and taking a look should tell you whether you're running low or not. It is also recommended that you keep a jug of washer fluid in your trunk in case you do run out on the road. Be sure to check your owner's manual for manufacturer recommendations for all fluids. For more tips like these, be sure to visit hondawest.ca.